right guys welcome back so I'm on the way to the range today it's my birthday today 32 years old and instead of shooting long range which I love to do actually I'm gonna shoot at hundred yards today which sounds not exhilarating I'm sure to most of you but I spend almost all my time doing long range stuff that's what I've been doing for fun so much lately and instead right now what I need to be doing is going to check my zero offsets and while I'm doing that I actually want to give you an overview or a, a a little mini review of the Savage Model 10 chambered in 308. That's a rifle that I know a lot of people have purchased uh, over the holidays and I've had one for just a few months now, maybe maybe five months now. Really like the rifle, had a good experience with it. Uh, this is a rifle you can get for under $500 if you know where to look. I paid I think $450 for it, put it in an Oryx chassis and uh, got some good makes for it, ready to go. The rifle is an absolute performer but I want to show you what an average guy like me, uh, maybe a slightly above average shooter, maybe slightly above average shooter. I want to show you what you can do with match ammo. No hand loads, nothing like that. I just need to go to the range and collect some zero offsets today because of the winter. And uh, on top of that, if you use a ballistic calculator, you need to know what your zero offsets are or that data is garbage. It's not going to work for you at even you know 600 yards. It's going to be off if you're looking to shoot tiny little groups and hit targets. So I'm doing a little bit of that collection today, but I'm also going to just go over the rifle very simply and kind of what, have I, what I've done to it and basically what performance you should expect out of a rifle that's $450 chambered in 308 shooting match ammo. So you guys hang tight and let's take a look at this rifle together and what I've done with it so far. All right, like I said, that's an Orx chassis with FDE side panels. I have the pistol grip um, from Fab Defense. That's the gratis. I have an accurate MIG. I have an Arcan Optics in Athlon rings with a 20 or 30 MOA rail. Can't remember right off the top of my head. MK machining. Uh, bubble level and that scope is the 416 SH4 Gen 2 by the way absolutely love that optic Atlas bipod with a little home configuring to make it uh, Arca compatible and the red thing is an Arca weight and the thing on the barrel is a barrel deresonator all stuff you could go check out on my channel if you want to see more in-depth um, commentary on those items all right guys so here's two five shot groups with federal 168 grain now the reason I did two five shot groups uh, this right here is from a clean bore and in my experience with the rifle it does matter uh, it doesn't shoot the exact same every time if I have uh, you know even five shots down the barrel it does clean up a little bit and so this um, I think there's I don't want to say there's a thrower in there but I was shooting off of an icy bench and so it did slide back a little faster than I wanted to I just happened to notice that that first shot was a little high. Is it the ammo? Is it me? Um, maybe both. Who knows? Uh, I'm content with the group and I'll say consistently the average shooter should be able to do something in between here. So a cold bore with uh, no fouling in the barrel. You know that right there is uh, slightly over an inch actually and that's fine for a clean bore for me because I almost never am shooting with a clean bore. It's just that first group and I'm going to dirty my rifle Every single time I go out to the range, I'll throw a couple at steel if I have a clean bore, and then I go to paper. And so right there, that's about a half inch group. Uh, if you can just tell by the size of the bullet holes there in 308, uh, yeah, that, we're looking at a half inch group center to center. Maybe a little tighter if you're a better shooter, and not quite as tight if you're not as good. That's Federal 168 grain SMKs. Really uh, not a bad round at all, especially considering this is a sub $500 rifle in a sub $500 chassis. Really overall, the whole package together is under $2,000 with the optic. So pretty, pretty content with that. Let's go and try some other rounds. All right, so here's the next set of groups. Up here you have uh, 175 grain SMKs. I'm pretty sure the, the top one and this right here makes sense. This flyer down here, probably was me the one in the corner here probably was me but this right here for 175 smks three quarter inch group uh, has been consistent oddly enough when i get past around 600 yards um so this right here is a half moa group with the 168 grainers smks these will do great out to six maybe 800 yards with no wind if there's any wind and i'm going beyond 600 yards i actually switch over to the 175 smks and these perform better, uh, especially at a thousand yards, 100% at a thousand yards, these shoot tighter 
And uh, I would say, again, I think one of these is a flyer, probably this lower left one. Uh, so around a three quarter inch group, 475 grain SM case. This is kind of an oddball round here. So one, two, three, four, five. And uh, not sure, I don't know. I want to say that it shoots typically about half M way. These are 155 grain Freedom mun Munitions. Uh, that's with a uh, VMAX tip on it. Typically those shoot really nice. And this dispersion sideways a little bit, I don't know. I probably should repeat the groups just for the sake of uh, you know being somewhat scientific, but I'm just showing you generalized groups of what the average guy can expect to shoot. So I'm just gonna leave that. That's an inch group right there. Uh, maybe an a inch, uh, inch and an eighth, something like that, just a hair over. And you see this random bullet right here. I was aiming at this target and I did not see, this was shooting with SAR uh, M80. I've never used that particular kind of M80 before, but I'm gonna tell you guys, it is trash. I just wanted to know how it performed. I aimed at this target, hit up here. I didn't see that, and so I actually went up here, shot at this one, and my impacts landed up here, and that is a two inch four shot group, which is just atrocious. Not the rifle's fault, there are other brands of M80 that shoots roughly one MOA, like the Winchester M80. I've had really good success with that, and it's consistently five shot groups right around an inch. So if you're looking to shoot M80 ball and just plink, I'd stay with the Winchester with the Model 10, not this SAR ammo. That stuff was terrible. All right, guys, I'm just going to take a quick minute to give a shout out to MK Machining. They are a supporter and a sponsor of the channel with uh, some gear they sent in, but it's stuff that I would have bought anyways, if I'm being completely honest with you. Uh, I love MK Machining gear, especially their bubble levels, but they sell more than bubble levels, guys. If you need something else like a throw lever, uh, just go check out their website. They have a lot of stuff on there. There's some 3D printed gear. There's also aluminum gear, and I'm running the aluminum bubble levels. They're fantastic. The size of the bubble is great. As soon as I started running that gear, I haven't had any issues with it. It's held up in the cold and uh, all the Minnesota conditions that I'm used to, even a little bump here and there on accident. They've held up perfectly fine, and so I really like that. I have other, uh, other uh, brands of bubble levels, and they failed me. They've fallen out. They've broken in the cold, which is super frustrating because Minnesota is just cold all the time. So I just wanted to give a quick shout-out to uh, MK Machining. Go check them out. Uh, look at their website, especially their bubble levels. Really good stuff, guys. So i got to be honest with you guys. I didn't realize it was quite this light. I pulled several times, and I was pulling right around 8 ounces, which is pretty light. All right, let's talk about magazines and that oversized extended bolt handle there and the action. The action is relatively smooth. Uh, if you try to use the leverage of that bolt though and go way out on the end, you can kind of tweak the angle and it doesn't feed quite as straightforward. It's a little choppy, but it's fine. It's broken in nicely. The magazines, most magazines load really well, except for Ruger Precision Rifle magazines. Those did not load nicely. Uh, they don't fit nicely in that action, but that's more to do with the chassis, I think. And the actual uh, action itself has locked up fine on all ammo. It's been a little bit tight on Freedom Munitions for some reason uh, in that bolt interface there, but everything else is great. Something I don't appreciate is it doesn't say the twist rate on the barrel. It's not actually marked on there, and there's all that other garbage on there about reading the owner's manual and that kind of thing. I just hate seeing that stamped on a real gun. So this is a 20-inch barreled version of the Savage Model 10. There's different lengths you'll see in different stores, especially Fleet Farm. It is threaded, so go ahead and throw a brake on there if you want to, or a silencer. It doesn't really add too much to the overall length. As far as ammo, again, I'm going to tell you just the things that I found uh, most interesting. It was like the Federal 168, 175s, not the SAR ammunition. That stuff was absolute garbage. A lot of M80 is just going to be very average. But these three ammos right here, the 168 grain, the 175, and then some of that Freedom Munitions, they did pretty good, and so I can go ahead and recommend go check those out first. So I may not be the biggest Savage fanboy or AccuTrigger fanboy, but I'll tell you, ever since I dropped this thing into the MDT or the Orcs chassis here, I really like this rifle. For 450 bucks. I just don't see many action, barreled actions that are performing this well. I think Savage barrels are very, very good. Obviously the AccuTrigger has its limitations, it's a little funky, but I was able to modify mine without anything extra, just the tool it came with, down to 8 ounces. So this whole package has been shooting great, even beyond a thousand yards. I'm hitting steel, I'm having fun with it. For my first 308 guys, I'm really happy with it. I think a lot of you would be too.